Like, they always need us to play. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, they're both uh, regulars here at Turing the Butter. Oh my god, but great start here from El Cabana Loco. Just, I mean, not leaving any damage on the table. Oh. Argos is out for it today. Like, he really wants to win. Oh, he, after last week's loss, yeah. I feel like he, he went really home, he put time to the lab, yeah. the fire. He really wants to win this week. Oh, great conversion also. I mean, just look at the spacing that Marcos is playing around. He's just he's sitting back and he's playing at such a safe, smart range. Oh, look there, just backing off. Yeah. When it finally gets a little dangerous, he just backs off. Mm. Okay, but you know what? Finish game trying to make something happen. Yeah, trying to find an opening, but Marcos... Mark is just blocking. And you know what? It's you know, such an uphill battle now for PH James. Yeah. But what knockdown from Ken can actually lead to a lot of damage because of all the mix-ups that could happen. Oh, he tried to oh, oh, he got it! Where did that come from? Where was that read? Oh he my is back God, in there. So one more mix-up. Oh, that wasn't it, sadly. Uh, he, yeah, I, most likely he wanted to cross up toss to destroy you. But you know what? That was the comeback from the yeah. dead that he I mean, wow. That was a good read from him. And look at that, he's riding that momentum yeah, back to the next round. Even though El Cabal Loco, you know, took that last round, PHGM had so much momentum at the end there. Oh, a little bit of risky jump in there uh, from El Cabal Loco. James is not anti-airing though, unfortunately. Yeah, but, I mean, hey, do, I mean, do it till your opponent stops you, right? Yeah. It's strange, though. I feel like Loco is playing much more. I mean, he is down light. He's playing yeah. a little more aggressive than I'm used to. He's normally, you know, plays behind his normals and sits back a little bit more. Ooh. A dash. Oh, but get the crumple. Here we go. Okay. Good damage. All right. Let's see what the mix up. Up to here, jab. Carthro goes for normals. Oh, sadly, he caught uh, James crouching, so he wasn't able to get the full conversion. Nice. Get the air throw. Oh, got okay. car throw for the win. Great stuff from Elkabon Loco. It's very hard to read the car grab. It's pretty fast. And it makes it so scary because the exact same range is like his crouching medium kick and crouching uh, medium punch. Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, am I going to eat the button or am I going to eat the car throw? Yeah. And then the car throw just comes out you're like, no, why the car throw? Mm, great sweep. That's why he knows about Marcos. So if someone goes forward against him, he would always see right after. <laughs> uh, you hear that, guys? Incoming tech. That's what you have to do. Globe nice anti-air. That's, that's what I'd like to see. Yeah, finally a it also. He really needed to. Oh, oh, oh my god. Marcos also focused that James hit a button at the wrong time. Is this... James needs a big momentum shift here in how he plays his neutral game because he's just eating so much damage and he's not able to get in so well. He's, well, he needs that one grab though because Ken needs all some mix-ups and if Marcos can't figure it out... But Marcos keeping his space. I mean, you know, he has his ultra now, he's uh, ate a couple fireballs, he's now building his ultra, and there we go, just gets the speed finally. And it's a... I feel for PHA, but it's such a hard situation playing against the life lead with Vega. Yeah. He's gonna sit there and play back and just play behind his normals. What are you gonna do? Oh, wow, okay, finally gets in there, though. And... okay, back out. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch him, but he wasn't close enough, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what Marcos gets off this grab. Oh. He plays it back, plays it safe. That shimmy was so scary because he went out there right around car throw rage, yeah. didn't car throw, walked forward. Yeah. Oh. I think Marcos was actually looking for a grab, that's why. That's why he backed off. I don't know. I think Marcos just has such good offensive reads right now whenever he oh, gets finished him down. Good read on good read on the fireball and one more hit. It's gonna be a strong or oh it's gonna be a car grab. A car grab again! And Marcos takes that convincingly. I noticed that Marcos was jumping in a lot less and plus basically just spacing out his normals really well, which is really good. 